Hi, my name is Globern. My name is Graham. And welcome to Go Go Globern and plus go, Graham. Graham. <laughs> <laughs> In this channel, I share travel vlogs around Perth. And hopefully the whole of Australia. If you enjoy that kind of content, please subscribe in the button down below. This is Cottesloe Beach and we are here today because there's an event and what's the event called Graham? Sculptures by the Sea. Yay! The event is called Sculptures by the Sea. So Cottesloe Beach is one of the famous beaches in Perth Western Australia. There are different events that happen on this beach all throughout the year. So one would be the event that's happening right now that's called Sculptures by the Sea. It's an annual event where the organizers invite artists from all over the world and maybe some artists can apply as well. I don't fully know the mechanics but it's an annual free exhibit and it's a free art show and I, if I'm not mistaken it's the 15th year, is that right? I'm not sure. Yeah. Another event that happens at Cottesloe Beach is the Rottnest Island Channel Swim. So the starting point is Cottesloe Beach and participants have to swim all the way up to Rottnest Island. How far is that? Uh, too far for me to swim. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really sure about the distance, but yeah, those are just some of the events that happen at Cottesloe Beach. So if you want to come and enjoy Cottesloe Beach, you know, just have a relaxing day at the beach or come to see the sculptures by the sea or witness the Rottnest Island Channel Swim, then you can come to Cottesloe Beach via a car if you have one or are renting one, or you can also come by the train. The train station is just directly opposite the street that leads to Cottesloe Beach. So it's not very hard to come to Cottesloe Beach and I find that a plus for me. So now let's go have a look at the beautiful sculptures. <laughs>
beautiful day today. It is actually 25, 26, 27 degrees and it's so windy and it just feels great to go out and look at the beautiful ocean and as well as the numerous sculptures in this free exhibit. I really enjoy going to free exhibits like these because aside from the fact that it's free, it's actually very inspiring. You know, like you get to see all these people create and share their message through their artwork and it just inspires me to create more, like not just videos but other stuff like drawings or knitting and crocheting and crafting and all these things. Like I just love it. It's so inspiring. I encourage you to do the same thing, you know, if you're feeling like you're in a rut and you just don't know what to create anymore, then try to go to free exhibits. It, for sure, it will definitely inspire you to create something. What'd you get? Coffee white chocolate. I got mango sorbet. What was your favorite sculpture that we saw? This sculpture. No, that's <laughs> not a sculpture, that's gelato. Okay. Uh, I like the circle ones where you look to it. Ah, uh, yeah. That one, yeah. I like... Well, there's three that I like. The first one is the kuma room or the bear room where we went inside because I like bears and they're cute and the second one is the leaf the one that moves in the wind it looks really cool to me a sculpture is supposed to be still but this one's moving so that's cool and the third one that I like is the the one with the silhouette well there were a couple that were a silhouette but the one with like the town or something. So I guess we'll end the video here. I hope you enjoyed Sculptures by the Sea. And the ice cream. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please leave me a comment which one was your favorite sculpture in the comments below and leave me this emoji if you've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much once again and I shall see you next week. Bye!